the counterfeit cross. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. We like to find a counterfeit cross, a cross without self-denial. Some people are just oppressed by their own choices. They are too heavy for them to bear. What you sow, you will reap. What is it that people sow? They generally sow the advice of their friends. What a terrible thing. Many people think, oh we are saving ourselves, we are going to make a big success of our life. You must know that there is no success outside of the cross. Whatever success you may think you have inquired will turn into ashes. The Bible says, he feeds on ashes. Isaiah 44, 20, yes, there is no real fulfillment without the cross. And the devil's device is to keep you from the cross. He would tell you, this is a hard way, this is a narrow way, this is a tough route to take. You better find an alternative. You cannot find a better alternative to the perfect will of God. There is no better way. We should not feel that bearing the cross is very irksome or very hard. I have borne the cross from the days of my youth. I never found the cross to be hard. Jesus says, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So, I did not find it to be different. What Jesus said is true. You may think that you are wearing the cross. But on the other hand, it is the cross that bears you. Your burdens are lifted at Calvary. Are you going to embrace the cross? The cross brings with it an offense. People are going to despise us. Sometimes we may be beaten up. One of the painful things is social ostracism. When you run away from the cross you are going to lose yourself. You are going to lose the best of your life. You are going to lose your family. The way of the cross leads you home. There is no way that leads you home but the way of the cross. Escaping, bypassing, or counterfeiting the cross is a dreadful thing. Are you avoiding the cross? There is no way you can be happy by avoiding the cross.